Today we're visiting Willowdale. We're at Willowdale Cemetery here, aren't we? We are. And my friend Thomas Bailey is here with us. Thomas, this is kind of a, this is an older cemetery, one of the oldest in the community. And uh, there's a lot of grave sites here. It's been here for a number of years. And to me, it is eerily peaceful here. It is. Uh, Willowdale was started in the 1850s, um, shortly after Goldsboro was actually founded in 1847. Right. So very old stones here. Yeah. Some very old stones, and we happen to be standing near some of them now. We're not too far off the main entrance, but uh, it does go back quite a ways. There's a lot of grave sites here. Um, we have we have a day with which we observe All Saints All what is it, All Saints Eve coming mm -hmm. up uh, Halloween we also know it as All Hallows Eve My favorite holiday is it really <laughs> <laughs> so so let's talk about uh, let's talk about people's fears and what uh, what they may consider to be scary things that go bump in the night now here at Willowdale. Willowdale kind of has a history of that sort of thing, doesn't it? It does. Um, one of the stories we have out of Willowdale is the story of the Gray Lady. The Gray Lady? <clears throat> okay. What's that all about? Um, if you can imagine an egg is the way she's shaped um, because of the, the bell-type dresses. Mm -hmm. um, that this is around what time, period? Um, you're looking at 1850s, 1860s. Okay. okay. Um, will be that style of dress. Right. Um, and what she does is close to dusk once it gets good and dark um, you can see her crossing back and forth across the path and it's like an egg shape you can't make out features mm -hmm. but it's a gray egg shape and so we call her the gray lady so how do we know it's her well we think it's her because of all of the soldiers buried in here and you're looking at that time period 1850s 1860s yeah, around the time of the civil right, war right the right unrest right yeah and we don't know if she's a widow or if she's someone's mother, daughter, whatever, but um, she has been seen several times crossing back and forth across the path. Has she been identified with a particular grave site? No. Okay, she just, she just, she could be anywhere. She is in the older section. Though. The gray lady. Mm -hmm. And she appeared, how many times do you have a count of the number of times she's been seen? At least seven or eight times. Really? Mm -hmm. My goodness. Makes one want to camp out here and maybe I don't know if I do that, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She, well, if she was dangerous, we'd know by now, wouldn't we? Right, right. It's, we would have known. It's more of a residual spirit. Basically, it's a a tape recorder of time that keeps playing over and over and over. Okay, okay. So, so this is a uh, a, a vision. A uh, what would what would you what would you call it? In her mind, kind of a space and time. Okay, um, in the gray and, lady's mind. Right, and we just keep seeing the same thing over and over. So she may not be even conscious of where she is right. or what she's doing. Right. She's just kind of passing through. Right. Seven or eight times she's been seen. Right. And who knows how often she's actually here. Right. <laughs> Ooh, okay. This is really good. So what else do we have um, that, that uh, happens here at Willowdale? Um, we do have footsteps. Um, we've been in the cemetery several times and had footsteps around us um, in that's the leaves. A little, that's a little yeah. um, unnerving. And there was nothing seen, just footsteps. <laughs> you heard the footsteps, mm -hmm. you look around, and there's nothing there. Right. <laughs> okay. okay. How often does that happen? We've had that happen probably two times. Oh, okay. It's, okay. it's not often. So you spend a lot of time out here. Now, what's, what's the proper term for what you're doing? Uh, I'm the paranormal investigator, lead paranormal investigator for Eastern Carolina Paranormal Investigators. Okay, and this is a, this is a, a long-standing organization. It's yes. been around quite a while. Yes. The Eastern Carolina Paranormal Organization uh, is based here in Goldsboro, I yes. guess? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and what exactly do you do? Tell us what you do. Um, we go out and investigate basically ghost stories. Um, this is something like you might see on television. A lot of the, a lot of the stuff that used to be quite popular at one time. Uh, the, yes, but the, we don't make that kind of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do quite well. So, so what, uh, what you would see on TV is people actually taking all this equipment out and setting it up in a right. haunted house. Right. and waiting for something to happen. Mm -hmm. And you'd hear all kinds of bumps and, and screams sometimes, or right. talking, you'd hear a lot mm -hmm. of talking. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, at times you were even able to make out whether it was a, an, a woman or a man or a child. Right. And this was on television now. So they can do anything <laughs> on TV. They can. But what's been your experience here in Goldsboro? Um, we have investigated several places here in downtown um, and have actually set up a ghost tour um, that takes you around downtown. Um, we set it up any night of the week and mm -hmm. weekends. Um, you can just give me a call at 919-738-8946. Mm -hmm. It's called the Ghost Walk of Old Goldsboro. Um, there's approximately two miles of walking. We take you around downtown. We start at the Wayne County Museum, tell you ghost stories from downtown. Um, and then we go out to a different location and give you like hands-on experience um, have to a very active place just outside of town. A very active place yes. means it's something <clears throat> you will either see, hear, feel, or something. Yes. <clears throat> Here in Goldsboro or, yes. or in the nearby. Mm -hmm. Okay. How often do you do these tours? Um, anytime anybody sets one up. Um, we try to keep the groups um, to a minimum of 10 people, 10 or more, um, and it's $10 a person. Okay, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So when you go on these tours, do you hope to see something or have you actually experienced something? Well, you'll definitely see something. Oh, yeah? Whether it's a ghost or not. <laughs> Look, a fox! <laughs> no, no, man. <laughs> No, but but uh, chances are you could. Chances are yes. Um, the location we go out go to after we leave downtown um, is one of the most active places we have. Okay. Now, for anyone who may be new to the area, Goldsboro has an extremely active history. It does. An active history in so many different ways. This was a, a, a major area uh, during the Civil War, particularly, but also in the Revolutionary War. We had a lot of mm -hmm. activity here, and that's that's one of the tour points. Um, you get a lot of history of downtown Goldsboro, along with the ghost stories. Is that right? Yes. Interesting. All right. Well, let me have that phone number one more time. It's nine one nine seven three eight eight nine four six. All right. Now this is being shown soon enough that you could set something up for Halloween, couldn't you? Yes. You could. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ten or more. Ten, ten or more. Ten or more people. Mm -hmm. All right. Up to a million. Up to a million people. <laughs> Once you get to a million and one, that one can't go. <laughs> Up to a million, load the buses. Bring the buses in, boys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Thomas Bailey, who and I, and I know Eastern Carolina Paranormal, but you're the lead investigator. Lead investigator for the Eastern Carolina Paranormal, and the number is 919-738-8946. All right, well, sir, have a happy Halloween, and I thank you very much. Thank, thank you, sir. All right, Thomas Bailey.